This video is sponsored by Squarespace.
I'm back on the little island. This time with snow is the first time ever I have experienced this location with snow. And uh, it's also, the, uh, my mission here is to photograph the badgers because I have never ever gotten a photograph of badgers in the winter in snow. These animals kind of hibernate, but not really hibernate. It's not that they are lowering the body temperature and sleep during the, uh, through the winter. They are actually active and sometimes when it's not too cold they are up maybe to take a, a pee or maybe to uh, just sniff around. Our game cameras has revealed that and that is also the reason why I've set up my tent here and the camp traption uh, trigger, uh, camera trigger. It's a rare sight but uh, it is a sight and I want to capture that. So I'm going to spend some days here, see what happens and um, yeah. Now it's time for some tea, then I'm going to leave this place Make, give it some peace and then I'm going to uh, explore this little island see what animals are here because when it's snow it's easy to see everything so uh, yeah that's my plan The fox that has been here, he has been digging for mice. It looks like he is uh, walking along the coastline, uh, maybe looking for a bird, dead bird, who has been taken in by the waves.
this is incredibly beautiful and uh, wonderful and extremely frustrating at the same time because when I woke up this morning and everything was covered in snow I just had this photo on my mind of a badger or fox on the ice or in the snow I knew it was not likely to get a badger in this weather but the fox so I've been following the tracks around the island but uh, I haven't been lucky I haven't seen him only the tracks my photo blind is in the forest now and um, I haven't got any uh, photos from the game cameras the two game cameras sitting in there so it, everything everything seems a little uh, dead I think the badgers is uh, keeping down in the warm den or the den um, he doesn't want to get up on all this snow but uh, regardless I'm going to commit tomorrow on the photo blind uh, it is a little hard to sit in one location uh, because I feel I'm missing out a lot of opportunities but it's only in my mind because when I walk around I might get a little bird here and there and it's nice to walk around in the sun look at the beautiful landscape but uh, I think my best chance is to find one place and that'll be my photo blind sit and wait there and if just that badger is coming up for 15 seconds I will get uh, the photo of the badger in the snow so uh, crossing my fingers everything that can be crossed and uh, yeah it'll be dark in an hour or so so I better get back and prepare for the photo blind day tomorrow so uh, what a wonderful day here in the winter wonderland <laughs> Should have been in the blind today I promised myself to go in the blind but I just simply can't go there because everything is so beautiful and I just have to go around I want to take on my 600 millimeter walk around and see if I can find some small birds in the trees and photograph them it was just what I said to myself yesterday I shouldn't do I should go to the blind commit myself to the badgers but I just can't um, yeah bad bad Morton but uh, that's how it is 
now the cam trap shin is set up with the Nikon Z6 uh, without any flash and um, uh, hopefully <laughs> the badger will come up and I'll still capture him up there. I think that's my best chance. Tonight I'm going to set up the flash and uh, hopefully I can get a photo during the night, who knows. But uh, now I'm going to set up a new game camera close to the photo blind because I'm curious to see if the animals are coming there and to see what is that new thing. I've never done that before and I would love to see if they come over and sniff around the photo blind. But uh, yeah, let's see. I've set up devices like these in the forest near the badger den for the project I'm currently working on. And now I'm going to talk about why these tools are really important like for getting the photos that I really need for this project. Before we move on, I want to thank Squarespace for sponsoring this video. Squarespace lets you build professional looking websites without any knowledge about coding and web design. You simply choose one of the many great looking templates and by dragging and dropping photos and changing the text and colors, you can make it your own. You can create beautiful galleries to showcase your work and it's very easy to update the gallery with your latest photos. It also has built-in e-commerce so you can start selling your prints, calendars and digital products. So if you need a new website, head over to squarespace.com to start your 14 days free trial. And you can use the off code Morten Hilmer to get 10% off your first purchase. I've put a link in the description. Okay, before I start talking about this, let me just uh, give you a little, what do you say, update on the Badger project. Um, since last spring, I've been working together with the Danish scientist Susie on a little protected island here in Denmark um, to capture badgers, like uh, more specific, the behavior of badgers. And we're trying to discover um, how human activity actually um, affect the behavior of the badgers. Uh, and to do that, we need to like get photos and videos and observation of the badgers during daytime and nighttime to see if there is a pattern on like when do they come up, when do they go finding food in a, what to say, a, a forest with a lot of uh, human activity and on this protected island where there's absolutely no uh, humans except from me and the scientist. Um, and it has been a challenge for me 
Uh, first of all, because badgers are shy. Uh, second, because I have I've been limited to my telephoto lens, and that lens often give this you know blurry background and a sharp animal and while it is really really nice and the photos look great for a calendar or a book or something like that they are a little like they kind of do not represent how you look when you see a badger in nature and the photographs i would like for this project and for hopefully for a book i'm working on it's photos that do not kind of remind the viewer that you're looking through a camera lens and that means that I would like to use wide, wide angles and a 50 millimeter and something like that and it's not possible for me to go down there and lie down and wait and uh, because I'll be too close. So to get around that I have started to use these camera traps and especially now where there's snow outside um, I <laughs> If you haven't already uh, heard that in, in the video, I'm really, really, really uh, eager to get a photo of the badgers in the snow. And uh, that is, I've had this uh, camtraption system for a while, but I haven't really been that interested in, in a camera trap photography. So I thought um, now was the perfect opportunity. And just, I just want in this uh, behind the scenes, I just want to talk a little about why this equipment is really nice and how uh, this game camera is very good together with this system. And uh, yeah, let's just jump to it because uh, I have some pictures to go through and some equipment to get ready. So um, yeah, this one is a game camera and uh, you set that up and it'll run for like two months if you have uh, fresh batteries and uh, it runs day and night with infrared in the night and normal during the day. It can make photos and video clips and it can send them to your email and your phone. This, I call this my scout because it works like a scout. And I call this my photographer because it works like a photographer. But because I set the photographer out, uh, because that is a little more expensive to buy this kind of equipment than a lot of these. My routines are that I go out and find tra trails, dens, something like that, and I set my scout up. And when that has been there for weeks, a month, I have a pretty good idea about what is actually uh, happening out there um, at the trail, at the den, what kind of animal comes there, when, and stuff like that. When my scout, little scout here, has done his work, it's time to set up either me as a photographer, that is what I normally do, or my little body photographer here, Mr. Cam Traption, with a Nikon Z6, to accidentally uh, photograph when I'm not there. And then I have a guy working for me when I'm drinking coffee and, uh, and sleeping, so that's good. But let me just show you just very basics how it works. My, my system here is extremely simple. It's basically just a flash for the night with a receiver. It is a a little infrared, uh, what to call that, um, a sensor that discovers where, when there is something in front of the camera. And um, I can adjust the width of the discover range by playing with these two doors. And then there is a camera that is inside this cam traption thing and something for the moisture. Um, and this one basically works like this. Uh, it's the camera uh, here with a transmitter. That transmitter is connected uh, wirelessly with the, um, with the flash. The camera here uh, is connected with a cable from the trigger port or what it's called. And with that cable into this sensor, then when the sensor sees something, it triggers the camera and the flash, the, the hot shoe here, send a signal to the flash and that goes off as well, at least in theory. Let me get this in. So if we just try to, to play with it, let me close the door again. Oh, like that, you can see. Here, we take this one, connect to the little fellow here and you can see instantly Oh, let's take the flash. You can see here, like that. So now 
as soon as something moves like this, it'll take a photo. Then I can limit and say I only want it to take a picture when the animal enter a certain spot and that it works like this. Pretty smart. Um, yeah, okay, that's enough. <laughs> Thanks to my fellow photographer. Let's uh, shut him off. So, yeah, it works like that. And um, the smart thing is uh, that I can leave this out and it can run for probably a few weeks without me being there. The, the challenge now is basically just that it's snow and the snow will disappear very soon. And I have had a little issues because this guy is quite complicated, especially when you don't read the manual before you go out. That's, that's really stupid. But um, I think I have figured it out. Uh, now it's just a challenge with the batteries because it's so cold. But hopefully, hopefully, hopefully I'll get a photo of that badger uh, in the snow. But uh, yeah, that was just a little about everything. Update on the project and the system I'm working on. Um, if you would like uh, to, to, uh, to cover that, the whole camera triggering system more in details, just let me know in the comments and uh, I might uh, make uh, uh, more next time when I come home from the project, I, uh, from, from the trip, I can make a more detailed behind the scenes about how I set it up and how it actually works. But uh, hopefully I can show you some photos of the badgers uh, in the next video. I'll make uh, one video more from this trip so uh, yeah, uh, stay tuned and uh, see you out there.